If I were to ask you what the most under-talked about show is, what would be your answer? Now the phrasing of that question may sound a little odd, and that's because what most people probably think I'm asking is, what is the most underrated show? I think it's important to note the difference. For a show to be underrated, that would mean the vast majority of people watching it think it's either not very good or just an average to above average show at best. Under Talked About, in my opinion, is a show that is known to be a great series but just isn't talked about by enough people. So if someone asked me what I thought the most under talked about show of all time is, well, my answer would be easy. It's Barry. Barry premiered on March 25th, 2018, and is currently airing its fourth and final season. Very similar to how I mentioned in my Succession video, which I'll leave a link to in the description, is that as of the past few years, I've been enjoying shows that release episodes weekly as opposed to dropping an entire season all at once. That being said, Barry has become one of my absolute favorite shows, and one that the second I finish watching whatever the current episode is, I'm eagerly anticipating the following Sunday when the story continues. Along with Succession, Barry has made Sunday such a special day in the last couple years. Well, at least when it's not football season. I'm getting off the point. Barry is a completely unique, one-of-a-kind show that pushes the boundaries of comedy and drama to such a crazy degree, maybe even more so than Succession. Whereas Succession kind of lands in this middle area where the comedy and drama are so interchangeable because of how the show is presented, Barry is the type of show that gets so outlandish at times, yet still manages to bring it back down to grounded reality. One scene, a man is begging for his life in the desert, possibly moments away from being killed. Then in another scene, a serious gang of men who are all quote-unquote professional criminals have a meeting inside a Dave and Buster's. The humor and absurdity of this show is laid out in its premise alone. Barry Berkman, played flawlessly by Bill Hader, is a hitman for hire, and a damn good one at that. Barry's life completely changes when he falls in love with acting after he's sent to Los Angeles for his next target, a young man in an acting class. That premise alone lends itself to so much comedy. A stone-cold hitman wanting to leave the assassin world because he falls in love with acting? I mean, come on, who wouldn't want to watch that? Along with an excellent premise, the show is unbelievably well written. Every time you think you know where the show is going, they pull the rug out from underneath you. But not in a way that feels fake. There's been a lot of talk in recent years about subverting expectations, and while it can definitely negatively impact your product, <coughs> Game of Thrones, it can also make your series stand out when handled correctly. The trick with how Barry does it is that when something unexpected happens that subverts what we as the audience expected, it usually only takes us a minute or two to recollect the events that led us to this, what we've been told in the world of the story, and how the story has progressed, and then it hits us that the creative decision that was made was truthfully the only way that the show could have gone. It does this constantly to the point that you may not even notice it, and you're just along for the wild ride. Looking back on the themes and concepts of season 1, where the characters were then and where they are now, I don't think I would have liked the show to have gone any other route. Which personally is a lot for me to admit. As a writer and aspiring director myself, when there's not a single bad creative decision made in a series or film, that's when I know I've stumbled upon something truly special. The excellent writing aside, the pacing is practically perfect. The amount of jokes, action, and substance they pack into 8 30 minute episodes per season is honestly astounding. One of the coolest aspects of Barry is that Bill Hader actually has directed a lot of the episodes in the series, including one of the highest rated and most critically acclaimed episodes of the show, Season 2, Episode 5, Ronnie and Lily. An incredible bottle episode that's just unfiltered entertainment for 30 straight minutes and an extremely well-directed episode from a blocking and direction standpoint. Seriously, people have been so impressed by Bill Hader's direction in the series that it's seeming more and more that he'll be directing a feature film soon, and according to him, possibly in the horror genre, which I for one would love to see. But I understand not everyone cares about pacing or directing, and sure good writing sounds good, but the reason that people stick around for those last few seasons of shows that they fell out of love with years ago and can admit dropped in quality is the characters. People stick around for the characters. If you can create lovable or interesting characters, then people don't mind sitting through repetitive and lackluster storylines. I'm looking at you, Vampire Diaries. Well, you can rest easy, because the characters in Barry are the best part. Obviously, Hater as Barry is easily the best character, and in my opinion, one of the most fascinating fascinating characters in any show ever. That being said, his supporting cast is outstanding. One of the coolest things I experienced while watching this show was the transformation of Sally's character. At first I found her extremely unlikable, and it seems like in retrospect that was the point, but here we are in the fourth season and she is one of the most fascinating characters in the entire show. 
Then there's the fan favorite of the show, of course, No Ho Hank, who's won the hearts of even the most cynical of people. It's just really oddly endearing to watch a guy who wants to be this big crime lord, but is also a genuinely really likable person who always has an upbeat personality and perspective. And probably the biggest actor name in the credits, who could forget acting legend Henry Winkler as the eccentric Mr. Cousineau, the acting teacher responsible for Barry falling in love with acting. Look, I could spend hours gushing over all the reasons this show is amazing, and I know some of you might think I'm crazy for saying this show is under-talked about, however, I just noticed through personal experience and online discourse that not enough people are talking about this show. Everyone I know who's seen it loves it, and it's honestly not a niche show. I could see such a wide audience loving this series from start to finish. That being said, I know award shows are silly and it's dumb to even care about them, but man, this show should have been raking in so many different Emmys over its four season run. I could definitely see this show dominating the comedy category at the next Emmy Awards, since they do like to give out awards in show's final seasons. That being said, I love Barry for so many different reasons. The direction, the cinematography, I mean, I didn't even talk about it, but it has one of the absolute best chase scenes I have ever seen in any movie or show ever. But on top of that, the music, the writing, the characters, it's really the total package. And because it's just as funny as it is heartbreaking, you get the perfect mix of huge belly laughs and genuine tears running down your face. To me, Barry is the most under-talked about show of all time. Hey guys, I hope you liked the video. Make sure to leave a comment about what you think is the most under-talked about show of all time. I'd love to hear your thoughts and engage more with you guys. Also, if you love Barry and you want to give me your thoughts on it, I'd love to engage with you guys about that as well. Well, as always, thanks again for watching. Uh, make sure to like the video, subscribe, and click the little bell notification so that you do know when I post new content. And as always, I will see you guys on the next video.